Hi guys, it's evening and I'm using my nice box light, soft box light right now to create some light for me because uh, I haven't filmed all day. I went out to help a friend clean his whole apartment. It was quite dirty and it took me like three hours, which is a lot because the apartment is only half size of this place where we live. And this place takes me about half an hour to clean. <laughs> Um, so that was a big job and other than that I haven't really done much uh, besides um, I haven't gone home to help my parents tomorrow. I actually should have done it today but because the cleaning took such a long time I didn't have time to do it today. Um, my dad is still in the hospital and what we thought was blood clots in the lungs has now proven that it might be some lung problems. I mean my dad has been a heavy smoker for about 30, 35 years. He's quit now like five years ago, which is great. Um, but also he's always been in the business of doing concrete and hard labor work. And as a young guy, teenager, he was like working with asbestos, which is really bad for you. And back then they didn't use any of the protective thing that you have to use today. Um, so he has been inhaling all that, plus the smoking, plus working with concrete and inhaling concrete dust. So his lungs are not as strong as they used to be and now they are having some tests done, they're having a whole lot of like scans and x-rays and such. Uh, he's been in there since last Friday, so tomorrow is a week and that's a long time for my dad. He hates being in hospitals. Um, it's also stressful for my mum. I went home the one day and cut the grass and move the whole lot of plants to a better place for the winter and uh, I'm going home tomorrow my dad has um, my mom and dad has like a pellet burner you know those little wood pellets um, tiny little ones and they had like four or five pallets maybe more seven or eight uh, delivered today this morning and that is a lot of weight and those has to be put inside a shed for the winter my dad can't lift all that, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. That's a lot of weight. I have to lift so many things. There are in individual sacks of like five kilos, but there's like in each layer, there's like four sacks, uh, and they're like that tall. I'm gonna show you tomorrow anyway. Um, so basically, that's been on my mind all day. I haven't filmed anything, which is a bit annoying. I was starting to set up a light testing. Um, different things also as I showed you I tested out my microphone which is in here uh, which is my other microphone so I have been testing this out and the sound is good on the mic um, and what I'm going to be making videos of is a review on this longboard that uh, a company sent for me for free they're quite expensive and um, they also sent me um, in here um, it's like a penny board but in clear you can see through it look you can see my hand on the other side and the wheels light up, which is cool. And they have also sent me um, a helmet, this skate helmet here. But unfortunately, if I'm trying to take it out, they have sent me the size too large. I should have had a medium. I sent them the measurements of my head and said, I probably will need a large. Um, that was probably my fault. But I measured my head and they sent me this one here. It's really, really bright green which I like because she's easy to see in traffic um, but it's way too big see so that's not good <laughs> um, so I need to get a medium where it will stay around here um, but it's, it's just way too big because I can get my hand up underneath and that's not even touching the padding so um, that needs to be changed um, to a medium instead I'm sure, but um, I like the color scheme, it's green, and it's just really, really pretty. Um, I don't know if you can see the lights probably, or the color probably. So that is some stuff I'm, I'm going to review for you guys. Uh, not for you guys, but actually for the company. They sent me this for your charge, and asked me to do some videos of it, and if they like what I do, then maybe they'll want me to do more. Who knows? <laughs> That'd be fun, it'll be a little hobby of mine. I do like skateboarding and longboarding and all that. 
Um, and I want to be filming the actual video of telling about the product in here, in my office. Turn those two lights towards that wall and use that. Uh, or maybe turn around so I've got a nice backdrop, put some other skateboards up and stuff. And then um, I will eventually go outside when it's sunny and dry. And, and uh, try and uh, skate on them. Another thing which has me a little bit worried is this little madam here. She hasn't eaten for like, let's say a month and a half, two months. And um, I have tried to give her crickets. I have tried to give her grasshoppers. I tried to give her the large cockroach, which I gave to my friend's son. She don't want it. Um, and I went, was a little bit worried, but then I went onto a forum on Facebook, which I follow uh, with people who keep tarantulas as pet and uh, asked them, is this all right with my rosea? Is, is that okay? And they said sometimes uh, that exact species, because it's a desert species, very often there's not enough food around. So they are used to live on hardly anything. And sometimes they'll eat like they've never seen food before, like oh, food, rawr, just go mad. And other times they can, and hold on guys, sometimes they can go up to a year. I even heard someone wrote to me, you even see someone going almost two years without eating. As long as they got water, they're fine. So I'm always making sure she got fresh water. But it is worrying. How can an animal live or s like, how can something live for almost a year without eating? That's crazy. The other one, however, is a little monster. She's showing off her fangs. I don't know if you can see them, but um, she, uh, she probably needs some more food tomorrow. Actually, her fangs is getting big. They're about that long now. So, yeah. Anyways, this is just a little clip, guys. I want to speak with you and tell you that um, today's video is going to be this because I have had so much on my mind with my dad. It is worrying that this guy always seen as so strong, nothing can bring him down and then suddenly he's getting old and getting um, problems with his health. It's a little bit worrying to me. Um, I'm very close to my parents and uh, I have always been. So uh, it'll it hurts you when you know that they are not as strong as you always thought um, or they always been. So yeah, that's a little on my mind. Tomorrow I'm gonna do something else though besides going to my parents and help with those wood pellets. I will be going to something called St. Michael's Night uh, in this town I live in. And it's an, an, a night where they'll open all the stores till midnight and there'll be like shows and everything like that and I'm gonna be out skating with some people on a square there and they have um, a jump or fly out and a ring of fire and uh, I might be bringing my skates my rollerblades and jump through on those I can't do it on skateboard I'm not very good at jumping on skateboards especially not from fly outs I never have been um, I'm mostly a rollerblader and I'm a little bit of a mini ramp skater on a board uh, and also flat but uh, we'll see. Uh, if I'm going to do it tomorrow, I'll probably get someone to film it. That'd be cool. I'm definitely going to film some of the other guys doing it. So, yeah. All right. But um, again, I apologize, guys, for me not filming much today. But it has really been on my mind with my dad all day. He was like, thinking about my dad, looking at the camera, trying to like, dad again. So, yeah. All right. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. It's the awesome and epic. Thank you for your support and understanding. And uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I love you. Stay awesome and epic. Peace, guys. I have a new car which is going to be in the vlogging camera which I'm using now. Uh, this is the exact same car as I lost. I don't know how or where I lost it. It was just when we were going to the gold tube and I couldn't find it. I must have slipped out of my pocket for some reason because I thought.